Hey guys, are you looking for a really interesting way to hook overlays and stop using the pasted Kiro hook? Well today in this video that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do. So first things first, look at this. See this test environment right here? We have Steam loaded right here. Now if I press home, as you can see, here's our overlay I'm GUI hook. And in this video I'm going to show you how to do this and even hook Discord as well. So let's get straight into it. First things first, open up Ida and you're going to want to look for game overlay renderer 64.dll in my case it's in this path that's where it usually will be and if you have a steam on a different drive then it will be there so let's load that up we're going to press ok we're going to press no then what you're going to want to do for this example you're going to go to segments rebase program 0x0 wait for that to do its thing now we're going to be looking for strings to find that correlate to hooking functions, hooking DirectX. So what we're gonna do is search for the keyword present because that's what we're hooking. As you can see, nothing really here that interests us. We do find a few strings, but this is for DirectX 12 and we're doing DirectX 11. So let's search for Vtable. Oh, okay. Looking for Vtable swap chain. Hooking Vtable for swap chain. Let's XREF that by pressing on that and then pressing X. Then we'll press F5. And press OK, OK. Now, as you can see here, we have multiple functions here. This is automatically done by IDA, all this labeling here. So as you can see, message hooking vtable for swap chain. Then there's a function called detour func, and then a function called create hook. And as you can see right here on this line, it calls create hook, and it's the vtable plus eight. Then it's the hook present function, and then it's the pointer, the original function. So all we're going to have to do is we're basically just going to be hooking Steam's hooked present. So we're going to go here. And then what you can do, if you don't have a signature scan function, then you can just go here, rename, and this will be your offset. But in this case, we're going to be signature scanning. So we're going to take that IDA style, copy that. Then you're going to put that here. And now we're going to search for the sig. So we'll do present hook sig. And we'll do find pattern. Game overlay render 64.dll. Put in the signature. Now we're going to get the signature for create hook. We're going to go back here and we're going to go create hook. Then we're going to copy that. Control Alt press OK. We're going to copy that sig as well. Then go here. Create hook sig. Find pattern. Game overlay render. 64.dll. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this function prototype. So you can essentially just take this right here, paste it into here, and we're going to make this our own function here. And you can replace keyword with just unsigned print 64. There we go. Now you're going to do create hook equals decal type create hook. We're going to do create hook. Sig. Now what we're going to do is this is where it gets fun. So as you can see, I already have the present hook right here. And the variables that we're going to need to set is just present original. So now we're going to call our create hook function right here. We're going to do create hook. And that's going to be the function address that we're hooking. So it's going to be the present hook, Steam's one. So we're going to put that in there. The detour address, that's going to be our present hook. So we'll do long, long, or no, 64. Then do and present hook and now this is going to be our variable that we're setting so we're just assigned for pointer and then we'll do and present original and then we'll just set this to one because if you look in ida here if we go back here you can see that it just has one for every single one so we'll just also put one now what we can do is see if this works so we're going to do control b we're going to go back to our project here, D3D test environment. Steam should be loading. Yep, it's loaded. Okay, now we're going to use process hacker, inject our DLL, and see if it worked. Sweet, yeah, it worked. Okay, that's great. So, just to quickly recap on how everything just worked there is essentially Steam is currently hooking the present function in DirectX 11, and what we've done is we found Steam's present hook is just over here and then what we did is we basically called steam's create hook function and we hooked their present which is 
over right here, and we're redirecting code execution to our present hook right here. So that's all that's going on, so that's pretty simple. And with Discord's hook that we're going to do next, it's going to be even more simpler. So let's jump right into that. Okay, guys. So moving on with hooking Discord, let's get right into it. So with Discord, it's pretty much the same process. You're going to find Discord hook 64.dll. It's going to be somewhere in your app data folder. Uh, for me, it was all the way over here uh, where my Discord is located, and then a few folders down, and here's Discord hook 64.dll. Then what you're going to do is load it in IDA, and we're going to do pretty much the same thing here. We're going to press Shift and then F12, and you'll see all the strings. And here, what I'll do is search for the string present. And as you can see, this is what we're looking for here. Swap chain present. So we're going to double click that, then press here, press X to XREF it, double click here, press F5. And as you can see, it's literally the exact same thing as Steam, but here they just have it um, configured a little bit differently. But what we're going to do is we're not actually going to call this function. We're going to do a data pointer swap. So you're going to go into the hook right here, which is going to be this one because this is the original function and here's the hook right here. So if we go into the hook right here, you can see that it takes three arguments. And if we go to our present hook, it also takes three arguments. So you know it's the right one. So now what we're going to do is go back to Ida and we're going to look for the original function. And so it's returning v7, v7 is equal to this, and it's calling keyword e5090. So since we've already rebased this, I have going to segments rebase program and then putting image base to 0x0, it's going to be e1590. So we're just going to copy that like that. Then we're going to go here, going to just address here, address equals un64t. Then we're going to do get module handle a discord hook 64.dll and we're going to add that offset 0x so that's our address and then now what we're going to do is present pointer discord present that present pointer address now what we're going to do is set our present original to the reference discord present that's what it is now what we're going to do is call interlocked exchange pointer. So interlocked exchange pointer. Interlocked locked pointer. Volatile volatile void pointer. Then we're going to do address. And then we're going to put our present hook here. Just like that. Now we should be able to do just run it like that. Start up our test environment. Let Discord load. So give that a second. I'm going to go to Process Hacker here. We're going to go to Miscellaneous, Check DLL. And once we see Discord overlay loaded, yep, it's loaded. Now we can inject our DLL. Press Home. There we go. We've just hooked Discord right there. So Essentially, just to recap on how this one works, is instead of actually hooking a function by changing the bytes and all that stuff and doing jumps, we're basically finding this keyword pointer in the data section of Discord, and we're changing this value here, this one, this keyword, to our own pointer. So we swap out Discord's pointer, the present pointer, to our own one with this interlock pointer function here. We point it to our present hook and we set the original right here, and that's how that's all able to work. So, generally, anti cheats won't be able to really detect this. The only way they can really detect it is just by checking the pointer. If it doesn't point directly to Discord, then they can flag you for that. It's not an instant ban, but they can flag you for that. But it'll bypass most anti cheats depending on how exactly you do it and if you, you know, return address spoof. Um, all that sort of stuff which we have a video on by the way so with this video that's pretty much going to conclude everything what you mainly have to do to find out how to hook present and really anything this method works in most other modules like metal tv and all that other stuff you basically just xref for strings that say present and stuff like that so you just find something like this you'd go here you'd press f5 you'd look for something like this and then you'd go into the hook function right here 
find the original function, swap out the pointer, or you can just call Discord's hook function just like we did for Steam, and you'd go from there. So I hope that concludes this video for you guys. It could have been pretty simple uh, to understand. The concepts here that have been shown aren't you know, anything crazy. It's nothing new really, but it's just to give you some insight on some cool things you can do. So that's going to be it for today, and we'll see you in the next one.